Welcome back to the big idea. Tonight we have big ideas that are so simple they hurt. They're those, why didn't I think of that ideas? They are always staring you right in the face, and we always seem to think of them after it's too late. My next guest came up with a multi million dollar idea by asking a simple question Why have people been writing the same exact way for thousands of years? Colin Roach, welcome to Big Idea, man. Thanks for having me. Okay, before we re reveal your idea, which is so simple, you go, duh, as all the good ones are, and that's what the show is about tonight, because you go, no, why would I have not written this way? Right. Let's go back to detention in the eighth grade, because this was the beginning of the idea. First of all, why the hell were you put in det detention? I like to say I had too many tardies, but I really, I need to make up a better story for that, but uh, it's generally because I was probably too tardy with the classes, and then... If you have too many, they give you one in the in the sort of the big house, you know, an all-day Saturday school, just Ooh, like breakfast club. Just right, I was gonna say breakfast club. Just right. like breakfast but club. But no Ali Sheedy though, so it's even worse. Right? No, no, no. So you're sitting there. What happens? So I'm sitting there. And, you know, it's it's basically from eight to five, and it's it's an all-day deal. And so at lunchtime, I bought this little toy robot, this little keychain thing, that when you twisted it, you could twist it into a pen, or you could twist it into a little robot. And so when I was goofing around with it, you know, because they make you, you can't just sit there and fall asleep. No. So I was just kind of playing with this thing. And when I turned it upside down, the, little, the two little legs look like a crutch for your finger. Okay. So I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Because I used to get bad writer's cramp, you have to understand that. Everybody, honestly, I, I still write the manually bump, a you? lot. Yeah, and it's like, first of all, you get the ink, and, you get, and yeah. it hurts after yeah, it hurts. You put down and go like this, okay. That's exactly, that was me in high school. Yeah. So I picked up a stick pen, and I went, what am I doing? I'm squeezing, and I'm pushing down. And that must be where I get, you know, my yeah. attention. And that was just the general idea. So... Hey, this has a nice, you know, what if we could tap into the weight of the hand? Because your hand has a weight to it, right? Yeah. Then, therefore, I wouldn't have to squeeze anymore. I wouldn't have to push down anymore. Okay. So I borrowed a lighter, you know, I ripped off the arms, and I, I, I snapped a pen in two, and I lighted, or, or I melted the pen right onto the tip of the they head. Did you have lighters in detention? Well, there's also a lot of stoners in detention, okay. so it's pretty easy to get. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. That's right. John Nelson shows up. Right, okay, right. <laughs> so, I, uh, you know, that was sort of the genesis of the idea. It was that aha moment. And so, uh, you know, people thought, you know, what are you doing? I think the, the prompter came over here and said, you're stinking up the classroom with, you know, toxins. And, right. And uh, so when I went home that night, you know, we have a garage that's just like the HP Invent garage. Okay. And my dad's a scientist, so we used to always tinker anyway. So I went in there and gunked up, you know, all his soldering arms, making little, you know, plastic formations. And... And I'll be damned if I didn't come up with a pretty good, you know, representation of it. You came up with something that eventually turned into this. Yes. And we call this... The pen, pen again. again. But you write with this thing. It is the most comfortable... You could write for 10 hours with this thing. Just, you see, it's just the most interesting thing in the entire world. I'm telling you, this is like a different writing experience. It's basically a piece of plastic, a clip. This thing is ingenious. Thank you. And you go, yeah, why didn't I think of this? Right. It's the most amazing thing. Take me to how you got, oh, so you had the idea in high school, years go by, you're in college, what happens? So while I was in college, you know, I, I always used to, I mean, I was, I've been constantly thinking about this. I mean, some would say I've consumed about it, but, um, and really where the name came from is, is probably most important is, is uh, a friend had called me throughout this whole odyssey and, and said, uh, hey, you know, how's it going? And he, he knew me from high school. I said, that's so weird you called. I was just thinking about the pen again. <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we went, hey, that's sort of a catchy name because it's a reintroduction of the pen, you know, yeah. it's, it's like, you know, something to come back to. And how did you, okay, so somebody at home says, wow, that's a cool idea, I have ideas like that, I don't know how to go, how did you take, actually turn this into a business? Well, I, there's another part to this that half of this whole business, his name's Bobby Ronsi, he's a brilliant engineer, and uh, he's a mechanical engineer, which is exactly what you need to be able to do CAD files. What, 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 what wait a second, what's a CAD file? CAD file is computer-aided design. That's where you break, basically break down anything that you want to make, turns it into a 3D image that they can then turn into a prototype off it. of a computer, basically. I got it. That's cool. So we had sat down, basically. Uh, him and I had started a business in college, a um, nifty little business where we learned a lot and, right. and, and got a lot of different attention and, and learned how to basically start a business. Um, so we said, hey, later on in life, why don't we start something and um, you know, go for it? And so, I basically, I was on my 30th birthday, and uh, we were sitting there, and I told them, look, I finally set aside enough money, it was like $5,000, to make a prototype, get this done, you know, just so I can shut the hell up about it, because people yeah. were getting seriously sick of me talking about yeah. it. And, you so know, you eventually build a prototype. Great part of the story is how you got in front of the buyer from Walmart. Because what people don't realize is, you can get in front of these people with, with a new idea. So yeah. you actually, how'd you make that happen? We basically went to a trade show. We, basically, we used all of our last funds. It was like a $15,000 trade show where you're guaranteed meetings with these big, big buyers. And um, it was in between one big hurricane, and then there was another one on the way, and then there was our trade show. So something like 50% of the buyers didn't show up. Please. And it was so, I mean, it was one of the low points of, of our whole business career. 
So I went up to the head person and said, look, all I care about is Walmart. That's what we're trying to get this into. And they, and they said, I'm sorry, but they're not coming. But she just emailed me and gave me this message saying, anybody I'm supposed to meet with, have them call me. And, uh, and that was nice, that part, because they realized people had gone out of their way to do that. Yeah. How'd you make your first sale? Give me the first sale when you sold this thing in. First retailer. The very first retailer I went into, it was in Palo Alto, California. It was called Edwards Luggage. I walked into it and said, look, I'm a local guy. I was in Palo Alto High School. I thought of this. I don't have any packaging. I don't even know what price to do. But, you know, my wife put up a real nice little trifold with a ribbon on it and a little plastic bag. I said, can we just try selling these? And he said, no problem at all. Guys, I hear it again on, again on the show. You got something that's good. Figure out how to make one of them. Yes. Bring it into a store and say, sir, I have a product for you. Yes. Colin Roach, founder and co-owner of Pentagon, another... Why the hell did I not think of this? Guys, this is, you got to get this thing. This is the, it's a new way to write. It's that simple. More ideas so simple, it make you want to hit yourself in the head and say, why didn't I think of that?